Okay, this is going to be a little, little bit longer making of behind the scenes. We're going to start with the uh, kitchen here. We got a. Uh, I'm actually listening to my other phone uh, on this uh, bone conductor thing. This was not very good. I don't think the, uh, what do you call that, the uh, battery lasts that long. But anyway, so I got to start my. This is a. Uh, this cherry is in a seeded grape. What you do with this, this is a more acid. More gas not um, No, bacon, bacon soda. More gas. Bacon soda comes all the way from Canada. I asked them for some because I was uh, at the hotel room. I was saying that I need some more gas. I keep on saying that. Um, bacon soda. Well, naturally, they gave me a lot. So I just brought it back from the old Canada. And you just take a, like, put some water in here. Just take a little, um, I guess you say half a, half a, half a teaspoon. Put it in there. And, uh, Squish it around, and what you're supposed to do, uh, squish it around, and what you're supposed to do is let it stay for about 15 minutes or so. I'll clean all this stuff later. Well, I better clean it up now in case somebody comes say, oh, you left some little crumbs on the thingy. So let me... Uh, I have something to uh, dust a little uh, bacon soda off the uh, counter here. Because, you know, people get all uh, in their feelings. Oh, now I'm cleaning up more than I should. I didn't put this up here. But what the heck? People get all in their feelings. They try to be territorial. Especially when there's like a uh, you know, like, they want to be bullies. Can <laughs> I tell you something? All my life, I've hung out with bullies. And I know how to handle them. Depending on who they are. Sometimes I hit them, confront really hard. Most of the time, I say, because I'm a Sigma male, I just go like, okay. Let me let this person hang on their own petard. Okay. So as this is a... Uh, Rinsing off or whatever it's doing. Soaking. I'll go out and we'll start our making of proper outside. I'm gonna show you the whole, I'm gonna go through the whole thing with you. So it's gonna be a longer one. Usually only about less than 20 minutes. I think it's gonna be a little bit longer. So I'm going, going straight to the to the thing. Oh, oh wait, I gotta pull this. Oh. Let's see, this is the uh, well, let me put this out first and down. Uh, come back and get that. Uh, let's put this down and get that. Get the uh, other ingredients. <laughs> Get organized. Let me light the incense first. Because, uh, you now sometimes this incense goes out. Just that Big Daddy incense. I think it's very old incense. They sold me a very old pack, but I let it go. So I hold it up like this first so I let a little bit of the oil be burnt a little bit. And uh, well, let me put the lighter in my thingy because I don't want to misplace it. Because if I don't have my lighter, I can't like this. So this thing is really taking off now. See, in the uh, in the Yoruba culture, which I'm not actually, I'm not actually in the Yoruba culture. You're not supposed to uh, blow a flame out. You know, you uh. Use your hand. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. 
I just don't want to go out. No time. Gee, I think I got it right this time. So then I put this here. Ah. Gotta have my smoke. The waff. And I put my uh, thing up. Ah, right, come on. I think I might get a. I'm gonna get another flag. I'll talk to my man Percy Lee. He's gonna send me after I send him some money, I suppose. Another flag, but more importantly, the Bronx caps. Gotta have my Bronx caps. Okay, so put this in. Oh, you're getting the full making of. But that's it, this location. I don't know what's gonna happen when I get to Africa. Yes, in 12 days I leave for Africa, and I'm counting down. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be doing making of. Well, maybe I first get there do some making of, but I don't know. I don't know. Every every look, every location for me is different. So, oh, what what ones do I have here? Okay, that one. Okay, I'll just I'll do this one. Okay, I have glasses that I put on for the making of. Now I gotta get this going. Okay, so um, I post some Instagrams already because yesterday, this is my other phone right here. I mean, but usually I only post, well, I try to post one Instagram, well, void video a month, I mean a month, a week, a, a day. <laughs> but um, yesterday I went to, I went to a show the last three performances, well, the last performances of A Merry Little Christmas Carol, Mark Shanahan, adapted from the novella by Charles Dickens. Right there. Right there. It was a rather, excuse me, it was a rather interesting production. I enjoyed it. Totally. You know, I really did. From the novel by Oh, no, 39 Steps is uh, the next production they have. January 18th to February 5th. Hey, uh, directed by Mark Shanahan, the same guy that adapted this. Yeah, whatever. During the theater's fine. Oh, I would actually go to see this. This little, this, it was a fine little theater. You no, know, it looked like a, a tiny opera house kind of thing. It was a fine little theater. I really enjoyed it. I really did enjoy the production. And uh, here's what, in the, in the uh, what do you call it, playbill, uh, they have things they call cast and creatives. Cast and creatives. That is good. Did I ever tell you? Okay, let me tell you something. When I was uh, um, at, well, I was at Rutgers, I was at, well, how I say, I was at Livingston College, but I was broadcasting from the Rutgers College station. This is all part of, um, um, what do you call it, Rutgers University. But the Rutgers College station, I was broadcasting, the, that was the, uh, you know, the the radio station, you know, the air, the whatever, whatever, terrestrial, whatever radio station, right? Which was different. Livingston had a, a, a carrier current that you get in your dorm rooms, you know, you, it's through the uh, electricity in the, in the dorms, right? But I was broadcasting over at the, uh, at the broadcast station. Uh, um, that was one thing I did, but also, because I was communications, um, I, uh, in fact, I'm gonna turn this thing on, I'm distracting it. I'm gonna uh, see. This is the bone conductor thingy, and uh, like I said, I don't know if this one has the battery. I don't think the battery is all that good. Let me see. I'm not really sure. 
Let me turn this off for a second. But I like the idea. And the bone conductors. Turn this nail off. Come on. Little reggae feel there. Yeah. Off you go. There you go. Boy, that was production. But when I was um uh, when I was at Rutgers at Livingston College, one of the things I did uh, I also was uh, there was a uh, a weekly newspaper, a college newspaper called Black Voice Carta Periqua. Um and uh, well, Black Voices Carta Periqua, whatever it was. And um, I was uh, the um, I was in charge of the poetry page, and I changed the name of the poetry page to um, Creations. That's what I call it, Creations. And that was like wow, 70, 1970. Four, 75, somewhere in that, 74, 75, let's call it 75. But I went back years later and they still had the same name, Creations, uh, for, the, for the poetry page. Because I was a poetry editor of the page. Well, I had a good time with that. Anyway, uh, I've done a lot of things in communications. But for them to have cast and creatives, I think is really most accurate. I like accurate English, you know what I mean? Um, so I, I really, but I really enjoyed the production. The the, the, the sets were great. That they're, they're very functional. Uh, the cast was really good. And only got to say, in these days, you're going to be an actor, a real legitimate actor. I don't, I don't know about these film actors, you know, but you really should know how to sing, dance, and act. Let's put it that way. But they were really good. I really enjoyed them all. Um, and um, I have nothing but praise for that little theater company. If I was down here, I guess a good. Now, if I was really down here. I'm only on here like, what, how many months? Four or five months a, a year. But if I was down here, I'd actually be a sponsor, something like that, join this uh, theater company. Maybe not join the theater company. I mean, you know, like uh, support them, you know, get us a year subscription or whatever, or a subscription, a season subscription. I might do that anyway when I come back. Because, I mean, I like little little theater companies that's really trying and doing stuff, right? I don't care what they're doing. It's theater. So, yeah, you can have, well, I'll, I'll leave it at that. Okay. So that's what happened yesterday. But my only big thing about that was my my, uh, my sister, I went with my sister. She, well, it's a long story. But anyway, she wanted, she, she got me some wine, some red wine. That I didn't know, but they had hot chocolate. Oh, man, I finally known it was hot chocolate. Man, red wine had been out the, well, stayed in the bottle. Man, that's why I want to come back to this joint, man. They're supposed to have some really good hot chocolate there, too. Or supposedly, you can't tell advertising. So, let me set up for my Instagram for today. Oh, we got to do, oh, wait, we got to do our regular thing. Hold on. Uh, how much did we walk? 15,887 steps. That would be 10.64 kilometers or kilometers, however you say it, right? So, 10.64 kilometers, 10.64, 10, 10.64 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. kilometers, K-I-L-O, meters, how many, is how many miles? It got right up front. Now they're trying to get used to me. Now when I put it in, they do it right up the top, right? So I walk six. 6.611 miles. 6.611 miles. That's like, oh, six and a half miles. Let's call it six and a half miles. So I walked six and a half miles on my morning walk this morning, which is good, I suppose. You know, I don't really take a measure to these things. I just, I just do what I do. You know, I mean, I don't see, I, I don't know. I think that if you, if you have a limit, say, I'm going to walk three miles a day, or I'm going to do that, 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 that. You could do it that way. Right? What I usually do is I just put some uh, music on. I think oh, I went through two DJ Spivers today on the, on my walk, so that's like three hours. Yeah, maybe a little bit more than three hours. So I walk for three hours. So I would I like I walk paths and stuff like that. So I don't really figure out how much I'm walking. So oh, I walked enough. I just go ahead and do what I do, and uh, so that's what it is. Oh, I got to do one more thing. Oh, I forgot. This is also, remember, we're doing a week a week of planning. For those people who are into the ultimate liberation, your own ultimate liberation, 
then what we need to be doing is, let me put it, let's see, Kwanzaa days right there. This is the week, this Kwanzaa week, you know, is the week for to plan, right? Or, or thought. You're thinking about what needs to be done. And you're thinking about that around your family, be they your immediate family, which most immediate families don't are not into what you're into, right? Or especially, well, uh, what you're into, but, you know, or your extended family, you know, blah, 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 or your revolutionary family, or, you, or the family is into the ultimate liberation. Let's put it that way. And don't worry, whoever you get with this week, right, it'll, 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 it'll magnify out, you know, it doesn't take, take much to, uh, to get people on board. People love a bandwagon. You get a good bandwagon, people be jumping on it. Boop, 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 boop. And they, and they be saying, oh, yeah, I was there with, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, seven days of, uh, what are, what, what are their seven days of, huh? What are seven principles of crime? Well, let's see. So we're, what's each of the seven, what happens each of the seven days of principles? Let me go to principles here. Okay. A unity, self-determination, collective responsibility, cooperative economics. We all do that. Oh, today must be near. Let me see what's today. Um, uh, come on now. Why does this thing good? The seven principles on an African. Oh, no, it's not good. Oh, seven days of Kwanzaa. Let's do that one. Oh, here we go. Okay. Um, uh Amoja, unity, we did that first day. Kujitagalia, so determination, we did second day. Um, Ojima, uh, collective works responsibility. Uh, Ojama, uh, collective economics. Now, today is Nina. It's a Nina day. That's purpose. I like purpose. Purpose, I guess this is, look, I like Kujitagalia like Kuji, Kuji, Kuji because that's, you know, it's nice to say, it. but Nia, Purpose, that's the one. You have to have purpose, right? So this is my day, purpose day. Uh, well, th today, actually the next three days are my days, right? Um, so Nia, I, do I have my other thing? No, I don't have that book. Oh, too bad. I must have a book someplace. Should I figure that out? Oh, I'll do that tomorrow. I'll, I'll go back tomorrow and figure that out. Um, I'm trying to see it. Uh, a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N. So it's five. And A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, nine. Five, nine, and three. I mean, it's five, nine, and one, because A is one. Five, uh, nine is 14, one. It's 15, 6, education. Okay. All right. Don't worry. I talk to myself. Well, I'm not talking to myself. I'm, I'm supposed to be talking to you guys, but, you know, what can I say? Okay. We really get this on and go, because it's going to be a longer one, because I'm going to take you down by the lake as my, because remember, I put the, uh, the thing to soak, whatever happens, it's going to take 15. Well, I'm going to rinse that off, then I go down the lake and eat there, and wash it, wa look at the lake for a little bit, you know? So, this means I better put these on. And maybe, I don't know what, as usual, I don't know what I'm going to talk about. That's the beauty. No, that's the, that, that's the uh, spontaneity <laughs> of being Anthony. Okay, here we go. Well, you know, I'm trained in radio, so what can I tell you? I've been training radio for like, I don't know. Oh, look, at it's 20 years. That's right. 20 years in radio. That's something. Oh, I'm on 20. I talk about 20, 50. I talk about 50 years in radio. 50, you must learn something by that time. Okay. Da 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 pa ti da ta ta. Fitty, 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 fitty. I said fitty, 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 fitty. I said fitty, 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 fitty. Oh, I didn't mean to put at the end like that. Oh, there's some birthdays, but I'm not going to tell you what they are. You got to look at, I guess, several geese. I think the second one, the the, the geese sightings, right? And I, I shout out two two people's birthdays. So you got to look at, you got to look at Instagram and look for my geese sightings. I think it's the second the, the sighting two, whatever, one of those things like that. They can see whose birthday I shouted out today, right? Two waivers. Alpha to God, hey. And 
Hey, do you have a store? Oh, hey, do you have a store? Man, I ain't seen y'all in a long time. I got to buy something. Up. I can't do it right now. Yo, look, hey, do you have a store? Look, I'm with y'all and all that stuff, but this ain't got to, I got to do something else right now. Actually, all my money is going to the little, um, the uh, what do you call that? The uh, community house I'm building in, in, in Dubai. So all my money is going to there. That's, it's taking everything, you know? I'm building that up. Boom, 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 boom. Maybe at the end of the year, I have some money and I'll buy something from the hey, do you have a store because I like, I like gear. You know, this is this is gear from a. This is for a narrative. Maybe I like this sort of. It's a nice sweatshirt. Anyway, but I'm wasting. I'm not wasting time. This is just what it is. Cause we we dealing with we dealing with we dealing with. This is not straight. This is not straight. Oh oh, let me leave that alone. Okay. Hey, you know it's un let me just say this. I know people talk about the weather all the time, but it's unseasonably warm. Oh, the brother, you so. Oh, my sister's calling me. I turn her off. And I don't know why I got this thing on. I hate when people try to track me. Oh, no, I don't hate it, but, you know, she got to wait. She know where I am. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Oh, it's unseasonably warm, which is all right. <laughs> it's all right with me. Hey, I'm, I'm really, I'm really, really, really good. Well, with the uh, with the weather, it's interesting because I've been traveling like the north, you know, the Canada, the cold north, the snowy north, whatever happened. And the weather's been. I mean, I dodged it a couple of times. One time it was cold, but most of the time I'm dodging it. So if the if I have twelve more days before I get to to, to before I leave to uh, to Africa, if I can just dodge the weather like that and seem like it's going to be all right, then I'll be good. Hey, hey, if you live if you live good, good things will happen. If you're living a good life. Good stuff will happen. That's all I got to say. So let me leave you with that. I'm gonna I'm gonna make it short because I make I got a longer thing that I'm doing right now. But just know that you know you reap what you done sowed, but you what you done laid down this is gonna come up and, and spring up and grab you or not grab you. All right. Okay. Just thought I'd let you know that. All right. Okay. I'll check you later. My sister's really being insistent in trying to call me. I don't know why. If I if I rejected you, I rejected you. So just relax. You know, I'll call you back. You, you, you know, did you ever, you know, when I grew up, you know, we had one, it was an illegal phone because because when you're on welfare, they won't let you have a phone for some strange reason, right? So we had one black phone. We put it in, in, in a little cupboard, right? So if it rang, you know, oof, like that, oh, you were, you were, you were in serious trouble. Uh, you know, if it rang and the, and the people that's inspecting these things was around, right? But the whole, whole other thing is one phone. The phone rang, and we, like we'd be at dinner, right? And the phone would ring. He'd say, oh, everybody would tense up. My grandma said, if it's, in, no, if it's important, they'll call back. Ta-da! Doesn't that make sense? But nowadays, people got to drop everything to answer their phone. Get out of here. If it's important, you call back. If it ain't important, don't worry about it. If, like, like let, let me put it this way. It's in the theater last night, right? This theater protocol, like for instance, I had, a, you don't wear hats. You don't wear a hat in theater when you go to legit, a regular theater, right? The other thing is that you, you actually, people say, put your thing on silence. No, you turn your phone off. Why? I'm going to tell you why. This, now now you all got me worked up because this is theater, right? And I, and I do this when I when I direct too. Even if you're, um, what do you call that? A spear of carrier, spear chuck, whatever, the guy in the back that's standing right there. You have to send all your energy. All your energy has to go to that performance. So that whoever's speaking at the time, you send all your energy there. If you're in the audience, you send all your energy to the stage. You don't be divert your energy to look, look at some text or whatever have you, or you got some important thing. No, you turn your phone off. In fact, leave the phone in the no, don't leave it in the car. You might get be robbed. But turn the phone off. Give the actors the energy. You're live there. This is not a movie theater. This is not like when I was in a can I tell you something? This is funny. When I I was in Mysore, uh, India, right? And I went to a theater there. I went because uh, if, if I'm in a city, I gotta go to I gotta go to the movie theaters. That's just the way I'm I'm built, right? Okay, so I'm here in Mysore, <laughs> India, and they go to and um, before then I had where I had been I had been in Thailand. I went to a theater, there uh, a movie theater. To, in fact, I was playing one of those James Bond movies, just playing something like that. So I'm sitting in Thailand, right? And, I, and all of a sudden, you know, the, the national thing comes on. And everybody's standing up for the king. I'm going like, what the heck? You know, I got to stand up for the king. But you know, I'm in Thailand. There's more ties than the other little old me. So I stood up, right? Now, something else happened when I was in my store. So I go, it was one of these action films, you know, where the serial comes comes out the, off the off the, wood, the parachute and lands on the top of the train and do all this stuff, right? Man, that was a that was a, a film a, a, a theatrical film movie theater experience. Sat down, was down with the peoples, right? 
when I was up there in the Thailand movies, I, I was up there in another, another road where it was sort of calm, right? But that was Thailand anyway. This is this is this is India. Man, chaos. The reason why the reason why they have like really loud music, because everybody's on their phone, they do whatever they do with it. And when the hero comes in, I might pay attention because of the thing. It was hilarious. I ain't never had experience like that until people look, I I was back in 40 seconds reading the day, you know, where you talk to the movie. Hey, you don't don't run, you're gonna trip. Aha, you stupid. You know, we talk back to the movie there. But this was a whole other level of that talking back to the theater, talking about to the people's whatever. It was it was wild. Okay, so that's it. I got I gotta go. I've been talking way too long. All right, so I'll check you all later. Hey, 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 look, it's it's coffee bean roots. Yo, I see I will work things out. I, I worked things out already. Maybe I did work it out. I'll talk to you all later. Okay, got to go, got to go. All right, all right. Okay. Oh, we gotta keep on going. Uh, oh, what's next? Oh, let me get the um, the stuff here. Oh, I forgot. I, I forgot I was recording. I should have been talking to you as I'm doing it. Anyway, got that though. Oh, okay, that's done. Hey, let me call my sister. Like I said, let's do the etiquette thing. Right? Let me leave that alone. Call my sister. Find out what what her situation is. Okay. As I do that. Let me get the uh, other stuff. Ah, okay. Moving in the house here. Oh, now she's not answering? Oh, why she call me? She's not going to answer. Oh, okay. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, cumbersome. I should put my things on the top of the thing. <laughs> oh, okay, well, she's not answering the phone, so I'll leave it alone. <sighs> Shouldn't have had that phone thing on anyway. Okay, um, back to our... So now, what we do... That deep in you here is obviously a uh, the smoke detector battery. Don't well, uh, smoke detector battery going down. Um, but you know, there's certain things I say, I tell people, and then they got to do it, right? Because I'm not, you know, I'm, I have a room in the house, but it don't bother me. They keep on telling me, I tell them what the deal is. People either do it or they don't do it, you know? That's my whole thing. Okay. 
already. This is done. Now, show you the next phase. The next phase, well, let me move this out the way, just in case these folks are coming over. They might be thinking that, uh, I don't know what they might be thinking. Little bit here. Put this in the room. Let me leave it here for a second. Because I gotta go outside and chill. We gotta do our little thingy here. Give me a second. Uh, I gotta carry all this stuff, see how it works. Okay. Okay. Ooh, we had 30 minutes already. I know it's long, but I'll tell you what, we're just gonna do this real quick. So I can show you what it is, what I do out here. It's one of these complete, complete things. Oh, and the, uh, looks like the Westman kept on going. Hey, it's still smoking. That's good. Incense is still doing its thing. Should I let it go? I should take it with me. Ooh, oof, oof, oof. Oof, spilling water. Let me leave this here. Oof, still spilling water. Oh, that too. Leave that there. Okay. Uh, now let me take the incense with me. Down to the next phase. Ah, let me get a ramp built here. That's good. For people in wheelchairs, whatever it is, that's good. And that, oh, here's the swimming pool. It's sort of ironic, don't you think? I own the swimming pool. One time I had a big house, had to own the swimming pool. I'll never do that again. <laughs> swimming pool, you know they gotta put a little uh, job, little fence around. But you gotta kick the animals out and, and, and trespassers out because they were going in and drowning in your pool. So now we come down here by what I like, the lake. See? The lake. Da -da 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 -da. Nice to have a lake, a body of water. You can uh got this little swing thing here. A body of water you can, you know, meditate at on or whatever. Come on, there we go. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Let me move this a little bit. Uh, okay. And uh, I'll put the incense here. Stick in it, come on. There you go. And I'll put my Cherries. So this is what I do. Have my, my morning walk, take about three hours. Come and uh, do the Instagram real quick. Went off down. Throw the cherry pit down in the water. Who knows? The cherry tree might grow up underwater. And um that's it. It's the cherry season is just starting, so it's, cherries are not sweet yet, which is fine with me. You know. And that's it. That's the morning activity when I'm here. Now, when, I go, when I'm in South Africa, I've got work to do, so I might, I might not have this little time to reflect on it. Actually, I got a lake. There's a lake there. I'll show you when, when, I, finally get to, when I finally get to Dambazo. I'll show you a lake. And plus, when I walk in the morning, when I'm going to first now, they have, um, I'm by the sea, by um, Strand Beach, so what the hey, you know. I, be, be around water as much as you can. It's refreshing, right? Okay. So that's enough. That's enough making up. I told you all I could show you. Well, I wish to show you. Oh, oh boy. Well, wait a second. Let me swing a little bit. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at that. 
don't you just love being you whenever you can be you? Be the, be the most you you can be, all right? It's the end of the year, so uh, I don't know if you'll be t making um, like predictions or or what do you call those things, uh, whatever that stuff is that you, that you know, you make commitments to the next year. My thing is like you should you should have been committing your your year like back there in October. <laughs> and anyway, as you commit this week, you should be committing. As I said, for my troops, my troops being the Sloan Warriors. For Sloan Warriors, you know you know what we got to do like that. Oh, the only thing I've altered in my little routine is that I do my. Uh, I, what I do now is I wake. I still I wake up in before blue light, but I read in the I read in blue light. And uh, what I should be doing right now is doing some of my floor exercises, but I ain't. I'm chilling, right? Okay, I'm me, T from the Patterson Signal Change to the Bit, a.k.a., you know, what I am, all right? So y'all take care. Be well. I'll talk to you perhaps soon, if you're good.